question. So what do you think of it when there's a lottery and let's say that the lottery win is for a billion dollars, but yet only, let's say maybe two people win the billion, would it be dollars? Back in a minute. <music> Hey, this is Jan from New York City. My channel name is Jan from New York City Saves Money. I love, love, love helping people to keep some more of their hard-earned money. You know, I don't know if it's me or what, but I have a problem with that. What do I mean by that? Let's say somebody enters into a lottery where the winning game is a billion dollars, would it be? And it has been known to happen. I don't know. I'm of the mindset that I sure wish that maybe there were like, let's say, a couple of hundred winners, a couple of hundred winners thinking like it's not, I mean, the person that bought the ticket, it's not their fault that they, they won the, you know, two out of uh, all of those odds of winning, but two people winning and got a lot of money for it. But in my mind's eye, wouldn't it be a nicer thing if let's say 500 winners happened from the billion? Think of how many really lives could have changed how many families' lives could have changed? You know, I was talking today to someone and we were having a conversation about lottery and uh, uh, that person actually witnessed someone today uh, uh, purchasing a scratch ticket. And right off the bat, he just happened to say good luck to the person. He said, good luck, you know. And the person scratched off their ticket and they won an instant $250. That is a very nice thing to see. I'm definitely sure of that. And I do believe that we have become numbified for numbers. Hmm. So we got more into the conversation and both of us recognize that a really nice number to win, especially when you're in like your senior type years, would be about one million and a half tax free dollars. That is absolutely life, very life changing. That would put a whole lot of security into people's uh, bank accounts. You know something though? So we took it down a notch and I said, you know what? I have to record a show about this because it hit me and it was like based on like the premise that I mentioned earlier about, you know, the billion dollars and so on. Wouldn't it be better if 500 people won? Well, you know what? Taking that million and a half down a notch, do you realize how many people listening to this show right now that $100,000, let's pretend tax-free, was was one. $100,000, and say a billion. I didn't even say 500000 I didn't even say a million. I said $100,000. $100,000 can make a significant, significant change in so many people's lives. And I was thinking, I said, there has to be a number that would make people comfortable that, gee, you know what? If I could achieve whatever the number is, whatever the number is, is your particular number, dollar amount, whatever that number would be to achieve that number. Now, I'm not saying that, oh, okay, like write down the number $100,000 and then next year you get it. No, I mean, that would be a nice, nice situation. I don't know if you would or could or can't or won't or don't. But I think this, it's a great idea to put down on paper, like just play a game with it. What would you do if you were able to write a $100,000 check to yourself? If you'd rather just take it down a notch or two or three, what would you do? Would $10,000 be life-changing to some people listening? Yes, it would. Some people are in debt for $10,000 and they could get rid of their debt and live a debt-free life. Uh, some people could use $10,000 as their security deposit. You know how they ask for a couple of months security to, you know, gain uh, access to a rental, uh, to an apartment, for example. Yes, this, these numbers can be life-changing. What would be, you don't have to tell me in the comment section, but I'm just asking you to take a minute of your own personal time and consider what would be the magic number that would make you feel more financially secure? And the reason I'm asking this question is, is there a way that you can absolutely achieve that number? 
Now, some people might say, oh, no, this is like too, like way too much. It's just insurmountable or whatever the you know thing is that you put in your own head. Sometimes I think all of us at times, we have become our own worst enemies. I really mean that eh, we tell us if you can't do this, we can't do that. But why don't we, we started off talking about a billion dollar lottery. Then we went down to a million and a half. Then we spoke about the $100,000. Then I brought it down to $10,000. Would $5,000 be life-changing to some people listening to this show? Absolutely, yes. Because there are some people listening to the show right now. Their cupboards are, uh, you know, getting bare, you know. Um, stockpile is, is either it didn't happen or it's, you know, not too much in it. And yes, $5,000 would be life-changing for some people. If you gave them $1,000 just to buy all the groceries they want or need totally life changing, find a number that is doable or wantable for you. Set that goal. But first, before setting the goal, there has to be reasons for the goal. Make a list of the reasons. Why do you want X number of dollars? And then try to figure out a way or two or three on how to achieve that goal. So let's start small, doable, workable. Okay, let's start with the $1,000. Now, I know we're in the throes and in the midst of the holiday season as I say this, and it can be a little confusing right now, but Maybe, maybe want to delay this thought till January. A lot of people clean slate and all this and all that. Or you just might be in the thinking stages right now, which is exactly what this is. Think about how can you achieve, how can you gain $1,000? Now, I mentioned a lot of big, big, big numbers, and it seems insurmountable, those big numbers. But I totally know that the thousand dollars in all probability would be doable. It may not be overnight, but what would be your plan of action? You see, you have to have a plan because a goal without a plan is simply a dream or a wish. So therefore you have to have a plan. Ask yourself, what can I do to have a thousand dollars more in my pocket in the next month or two? Because like I outlined earlier, that could be, life changing. You could really start building your stockpile. You could fill those freezers. You maybe have a little bill that's like at the $200 level that you could just get rid of that $200 level bill. It absolutely could be life changing. I just thought that I'd peel it apart as if it were a banana and I'm taking off the skin and we're getting down to, to the nitty gritty of the numbers. What numbers could be life changing for you? Even on a smaller scale, if it's life-changing for you and important for you, that's what counts. All right. Just thought I'd mention this. Have an amazing day, everybody, and take good care now. Bye-bye.